Today, I'm testing 11 Labs voice cloning and Descript voice cloning side by side so you can decide what's best. I'll start by testing how similar sounding each clone is to my voice. Then there's five other tests I'll put the voice clones through to see how well they handle different speech challenges. Let's start by testing the similarity the voice clones have to my voice. So this is me speaking now, and this is the sentence that each voice clone is going to say so that we can test how similar each clone sounds to my voice. So this is Eleven Labs speaking now, and this is the sentence that each voice clone is going to say so that we can test how similar each clone sounds to my voice. So this is the script speaking now, and this is the sentence that each voice clone is going to say so that we can test how similar each clone sounds to my voice. Okay, so to me, there was a night and day difference there. I felt that Eleven Labs sounded so more similar to what my voice sounds like than the script did there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But now we'll do the five other voice challenge tests to see if the voice clones actually say what we need without making mistakes. Because a voice clone might sound similar to you, but if it makes mistakes every time you give it a script to read, I don't think there's any point in using that voice clone. There'll be links to both the script and Eleven Labs of voice cloning in the description to this video if at any time you decide to use one of them. And to start off with now, we're going to test pronunciation. So this is if the voice clones say every word correctly that it's given. They tried to desert the army in the middle of the desert, but the heat was unbearable. After a quick read, they realized they had already read that book. So you'll see in that sentence, there's words that are spout the same, but pronounced differently. We've got desert and desert and read and read. And we're testing here to see if the voice clones say the correct words at each moment. They tried to desert the army in the middle of the desert, but the heat was unbearable. After a quick read, they realized they had already read that book. They tried to desert the army in the middle of the desert, but the heat was unbearable. After a quick read, they realized they had already read that book. Cool, so they both seem to handle pronunciation correctly. Let's move on to testing punctuation now. And we're checking here to see if they use pauses and tonal shifts correctly. Are you going to the party tonight? No. Wait, are you seriously going to cancel at the last minute? Are you going to the party tonight? No, wait, are you seriously going to cancel at the last minute? Are you going to the party tonight? No, wait, are you seriously going to cancel at the last minute? Okay, so I think the script handled punctuation better there. There was more natural spacing in between the commas and the spaces. And the voice sounded like it had more concern in that last question in the script, whereas in Eleven Labs, it just sounded a bit flat. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And next, we are testing realism. So does the voice clone sound as natural and unscripted as we want it to be? Yikes, that was close. Um, do you think we should try again? Yikes, that was close. Um, do you think we should try again? Yikes, that was close. Um, do you think we should try again? Okay, and Eleven Labs takes it for me there with realism. That opening yikes just seemed to have more genuine surprise. And when I listened to the script, the whole sentence just seemed a bit flat and emotionless. So for me, I'm gonna give realism to Eleven Labs. So next we're going to test out humor. So jokes obviously need the right timing and tone to properly land. So let's see how well the voice clones do when trying to tell a joke. But first, I'm gonna try and tell a joke. Let's see how well this goes. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> All right, let's give that a try with AI. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Yeah, Eleven Labs takes it for me hands down there. It just sounds more human. And it actually seemed like it emphasized outstanding a little bit. I don't know if I'm just imagining that, but to me it did. The script is just sounding robotic here, isn't it? I'm not impressed with the script. Let me know what you think. 
And for test six, we are testing emotion. So how well do the voice clones detect and insert the correct emotion for what it's currently saying? Yes, you did it. I don't know how, but you actually did it. I'm so proud of you. Yes, you did it. I don't know how, but you actually did it. I'm so proud of you. Yes, you did it. I don't know how, but you actually did it. I'm so proud of you. Okay, so with that one, the script just took it for me, which is surprising because the script has previously sounded way more robotic than 11 Labs. But on that one, the script didn't sound robotic. And I think it was just slightly better at showing emotion. They were both pretty similar, to be honest. I don't think you're going to get a huge different experience if you use 11 Labs for emotion versus the script. But in my opinion, the script was just slightly better, but not a significant change. But overall, in my opinion, 11 Labs was the winner when you compare everything. I think the script just sounded too robotic throughout most of that. They both could have done better with pacing and a few other things, but my gut instinct leaving that was that 11 Labs was the winner. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. There's links to both the script and 11 Labs voice cloning in the description to this video if you've decided that you want to use either of them after watching this. I was on the creator plan for both the script and 11 Labs if you want to be on the same as me. And if you've decided to use 11 Labs, I've made this video in the past that you should watch next, which tells you how to get the absolute best from 11 Labs text to speech. So make sure to watch that next and subscribe to the channel, obviously, for more AI tips for creators like you've seen in this video. See you later.